Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. My name is James and today we're going to go ahead and sit down and talk to you guys about Reading's battering of Swindon Town. That's right, for the first time in over 20 years, Reading played a competitive fixture against one of their local rivals and we came out as 5-0 winners. It wasn't just a potluck 5-0 either. 24 shots, 12 on target, complete and utter domination. Swindon get battered everywhere they go and that is the true message coming out of today's video just look I don't care if it's the EFL trophy I don't care if Swindon didn't play their starting 11 Reading didn't play their starting 11 At the end of the day Reading battered Swindon Town today and that's all that really matters no one's going to look at the teams they're going to look at the results 5-0 so that's a 9-0 win and a 5-0 win in this this competition can we start translating that over to the league now, please? Because 14 goals and none conceded in two games is outstanding. As much as we can sit here and say it's the EFL trophy, it is absolutely outstanding. Now, the team that Reading went for today started off with a starting 11 with uh, David Button in goal after um, Connor, our boys Clark, had to come off injured before the game even started. Andy Yeardom, Tom Holmes, Clinton Mola and Nesta Guinness Walker were in the back four. Paul McCarew and Harvey Nibs played out wide with Tavonge Rashisha and Michael Craig in the midfield. And Jaden Wareham started up front with Caelan Vickers. Now Reading made a couple of substitutes as well during the game as we saw Harley Dean, Femi Aziz, Lewis Wing, Michael Stickland and Tom Norcutt all come off the bench. That's right, Reading's 18-year-old goalkeeper Tom Norcutt making his uh, first appearance in a Reading shirt. And what a way to make it. Came on in the 87th minute and we won by two goals to nil in just them, just them couple of minutes he played. Obviously, Harley Dean came on. Boos were happening, and I understand why. Claps were happening, and I don't understand why. I think, realistically, though, that should just be it. Should be over and done with by now. Harvey Nibs scored himself a hat-trick. That's right, Harvey Nibs, the man who uh, notoriously hasn't been able to finish good shots in the league, was able to put them away today. Kicked off the scoring in the 19th minute uh, of a nice little finish. Uh, he then scored a second from a header. In the 47th minute of the first half, him and Nesta Guinness Walker partnering up well there and uh, finishing off with the Marcelo Ronaldo celebration. Paul McCurry then won a penalty after half time in the 49th minute. Tavi Nibs stepped up and he completed his hat trick. The game started to go a little bit quiet from there and a little bit dead, so you know, we kind of just saw nothing really happen all the way up until the 90. Second minute, yep, the 92nd or 94th minute, my apologies, when Paul McCarew was able to score after a fantastic strike from a free kick by Caelan Vickers. Uh, was saved by the goalkeeper slash came off the bar. Uh, and Paul McCarew was there to put the header in the back of the net. And then Harley Dean rounded out the night, scoring the fifth in the 96th minute when a cross came in from Lewis Wing, recycled uh, from a corner. And poor, poor defending from Swindon. Saw Harley Dean at the back post, header it in the back of the net. Realistically, it could have been six. I think Reading had so many chances in that first half. And even in the second half, uh, I think Reading, Harley Dean really could have scored as well after he scored his first, a bullet header, which uh, unfortunately went straight at Ward. But Reading won. And I'm so much more happier uh, today than I was sat down on Saturday. Um, listen, in my opinion, standout performances today came from Clinton Mola. I thought he looked very calm and composed at centre-back compared to left-back. Tavonge Rashisha and Michael Craig. Michael Craig needs to get a starting eleven start very soon in this team because he just looks so class every time he plays. And I thought Rashisha as well just adds a bit of dynamic in the midfield. And him and Craig definitely have got a good little partnership going on there. Harvey Nibs obviously scored a hat-trick, so I can't really not talk about him. And Caelan Vickers, although no goal or assist today, was absolutely outstanding. I feel like he could have done whatever he wanted to that Swindon defence any time he wanted. Class from Reading today. Um, it's not really much too much to talk about, if I'm being completely honest. It was just absolutely class all round by Reading. Uh, look, obviously now we've qualified for the next round uh, of the Papa John's, uh, well not the Papa John's Cup, uh, sorry, the EFL Trophy, uh, top of the league, six points with 14 as our goal difference, Arsenal uh, also now qualified for the next round, uh, so our next fixture coming up in the middle of November, they beat Exeter by five goals to nil today, uh, so they sit on five points, Swindon third with a minus five goal difference and one point, and Exeter 
bottom of the league with a minus 14 goal difference and zero points. Listen, I know people play their youth teams in the EFL trophy, but if this is the standard, Reading are going to absolutely piss this competition. If this is the type of teams that we're going to play, like second string, Reading play their second string, we're going to dominate. Realistically, we are. I can't complain. I'm very happy. I'm very, very happy with today. Listen, that's going to be it for this one today, guys. There's not really too much else to touch on. Reading, dominant performance against the second string at Swindon side. Could have been their fourth string. I'll still be happy beating Swindon. Ask me for this one, guys. Thank you very much for watching. My name's been James, and we'll see you again very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.